Good morning. What are you eating? Hatchet. And? Eggy. Sausage and eggy. Um, uh, knife. With a butter knife, he cuts his own egg. And it is pretty late. 7.45. He woke up at 5.45. But he got in bed with me and Felix, and we slept until 7.30. And here's Fifi. It's so dark over here. Hi, Fifi. Good morning. Hi, buddy. We are going to finish feeding Theo, and then we're going to head to daycare. Are you excited for daycare? Go hiking tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to go hiking on Friday, not tomorrow. Yesterday was the first day, just the three of us, and it was pretty chill. I drove around for their nap, hey. wound up going to my friend's house. She lives in the city, and we stayed there for like three hours and played. It is 10 a.m., and I just got back from dropping Theo off, running some errands. I went to Starbucks and I got myself a grande, which is medium, almond milk cappuccino. And then Starbucks is right next to Whole Foods. So I hopped into Whole Foods, did a little mini haul, and I'll also show you the mini haul. I'm gonna feed my big boy, finish heat. Fills up really fast, so then like he calms down super quick and he's so happy. The bag ripped. The love of my life, the true love of my life, aside obviously from Theo and Felix and Matt, is in this bag right here. And these only come around during the fall time, so if you see them, you gotta get them. Delicata squash. They only had really big ones, which is fine. Sometimes they only have baby ones, which is also fine, but I took all the good ones. So there's four, four big ones in here. These are so good, I'm gonna make them tonight. Our oven's not working, so I'm gonna have to use the air fryer. We're getting a new oven, actually. These Emmy's organic little like coconut cookies, Matt, uh, not Matt. Theo loves these, so he has like one of these. Um, maybe he'll take one to daycare for a snack, or he'll have one like after dinner. I don't know. Like toddlers, you need treats. You need like ways to lure them. You need ways to like surprise them. They just love like secret stuff. Like you got your secret snacks, and he's excited. Then I got some of these chicken apple, or no, chicken maple sausages. I got a couple of fruit pouches. There's baby carrots, blueberries, because blueberries are still in season. In bulk, I buy these blueberries every time I go, and then we wash and freeze them, because we, like them, we like to eat them out of the freezer. I found some vanilla beans, and these were a really good price. It was like 15 bucks, and there's like four really long ones in here. I feel like these have been a shortage or something. And Matt always like says, hey, I'll get me vanilla beans. I'll pay five bucks or whatever. He says like, he names his price. Um, and I found them. So I got a bunch because we like to put them in Theo's pudding when we make pudding. And then I got this chocolate bar. We re both really like this. It's 80%, 88%. They had local grass fed steaks. So I got two New York strips. And these are the chicken sausages I was talking about, my absolute favorite. So Applegate sweet Italian chicken sausages. One sausage is 160 calories, zero carbs, nine fat, 13 protein, super filling. I'll have two of these with some Primal Kitchen ketchup and it's just like a delicious solid meal, especially in the morning because I'm not as hungry. So I'm probably gonna do two of these. There's some chicken breast in there. Also Matt wanted some frozen burgers. So these were on sale. These are the nut pods creamers I got. Now that I'm not doing the whole 30, I got uh, a sweetened one. I haven't seen this one. It's sweetened French vanilla. Some San Marzano. Wait, these aren't San Marzano. Oh no. I saw the San Marzano ones and then I picked the ones next to them for some reason. It's the same exact jar. It's not a big deal, I don't think at all. And you guys probably think this is dumb, but Matt's very particular. He's like, if they're not San Marzano, they're not really tasty and good. If he wasn't gonna see this vlog and edit it himself, I could just like pretend they are San Marzano and then use them and he wouldn't know the difference, but now he's gonna know the difference and he's going to comment. So I cut out dairy and eggs, unfortunately, which is why I'm using the nut pods, which is why I don't have eggs for breakfast anymore, which sucks, or at all, because of him. And I've found that it helps a lot. So if you guys are nursing and you wanna cut something out, I would say dairy is probably the first thing to cut out and then see if it helps the baby. I was gonna have two of these with some ketchup because that's been like my fun, meal that I've been doing lately, just quick and easy and delicious. But then I remember we had some leftovers from last night. I made like a curry chicken, like a Thai curry with canned coconut milk and some curry powder. And I'm gonna just eat that instead of these. But I'm still making my coffee, so that's gonna be right here. Meal number one, and I'll probably then have like a, a nice big snack after I get in a little run if Felix keeps sleeping. What's going on guys? It's a pretty gloomy day here. It's been raining pretty much all afternoon and I'm in like some little tunnel. Just to fill you guys in on what's been going on so far today, just been at work. 
I had my coffee this morning and I've been changing up what I put in it. This morning I put in coconut milk, butter, protein powder. It's like beef and egg protein powder. And then I also put in two egg yolks. So that's my breakfast. And I've been trying to get more of like an actual breakfast meal in. So I just do like my coffee as a meal. So it's probably like 400 calories or so, like a substantial amount. And then uh, I got lunch. I just have here a half pound of brisket because we film our vlogs usually on Mondays or Tuesdays and I just like get the barbecue and then I keep it for the next few days so I don't have to think about my lunch. Pretty good, has a good amount of fat on it. I like it, I get it like once a week at least. So I was thinking if you're just starting to take care of your health and you wanna prioritize some action steps, what's most important? and what's really not that important at all. Cause it seems like this is kind of like a self-sabotage thing a lot of us do. We focus on like these really small details of the things that actually don't make that much of a difference at all. And we just like obsess over those. And we think that like, if we're not doing everything perfect, then everything we're doing isn't really mattering very much. So easiest thing to do actually to begin with is probably like the things that don't really matter a lot. Fasting, number one. It could be beneficial for a lot of people that comes naturally, you're just not that hungry in the morning. But if you're hungry in the morning, you don't need to really like fight against your instincts and your natural hunger and try to fast. Focusing on like every little additive in your food, yeah, they're unhealthy for you, but like if you're buying heavy cream, and it has like additives like carrageenan and like different gums and stuff to thicken it. It's not the biggest deal probably, especially if your diet isn't already really good. Doing crazy things. You don't need to do crazy extreme things, especially to begin with. If this is like your first foray into improving your health and like improving your diet, probably don't need to do a carnivore diet, an egg fast, a protein sparing modified fast, alternate day fast, you probably don't need to do any of that stuff. If your diet's really terrible right now, you can actually just do very basic things and get really good results. So like a lot of people, the first thing they do is they start drinking diet Coke instead of normal Coke. Honestly, even like the, the carb count, if you're really obsessing over the carb count, if it comes at the expense of you just making common sense food choices and eating more natural foods. It's funny because when I say common sense, I think of one thing, but then I hear Jillian Michaels say common sense. <laughs> And she means a totally opposite thing. She means like, you know, eat quinoa. But yeah, so common sense. When I say common sense, I mean natural human foods, things we've been eating for hundreds of years. So the big things that do matter. First thing, obviously, remove processed foods. You know, we have like our little protein bars and stuff and people will be like, you guys eat tons of processed foods. There's obviously nuances and varying degrees of processed foods. So like Twinkies, literally refined sugars and vegetable oils combined. So like that's one extreme of processed foods. When I go to the like Whole Foods and I get like a meat stick, that's a processed food too very different though. Processed vegetable oils. Some people who are doing like a lazy keto thing will say it's not a big deal. I think it's a pretty huge deal. You want to remove processed vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola oil, things like that, and also processed refined sugars and carbs. So like processed grains, heavily processed grains like white bread. That should be step one. I'm a little torn on this. What you should prioritize, is it what you're removing or is it what you're adding? I think most people immediately, they just focus on the things they want to remove from their diet, the things they can't have. That makes a lot of sense because the standard American diet is just pretty much comprised of like 80 to 90% of foods that you shouldn't really eat ever. Maybe the better way to go about it is to focus on adding really good healthy things and then that kind of displaces a lot of the bad food. So like if you eat really nutrient dense foods, like if you have like scrambled eggs with butter for breakfast, you just eat naturally less of the bad stuff because you're, you're less hungry throughout the day. One other thing I would say that is worth experimenting with early on and, and adding into your mix is the meal timing. Because a lot of people, they have, they're not listening to their, their body and their intuition of when they should eat when they're hungry. They're trying to like eat by the clock. They've heard like breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But over time, if you just kind of listen to your body, you eat when you're hungry. I think that's a good route to go. And you should find like for myself, usually not that hungry in the morning. I get a lot hungrier midday and then at night. So I base my calories and most of my meals around those timings. That's pretty much it. That's how I would prioritize things if I was really just first getting started. A little bit of a reading update since I've been so terrible this year. Last year I read 
60 bucks. This year I'm probably on like 15 or something, like really bad. We're almost to the end of the year. I just finished a few books. I finished The Alchemist. I liked it a lot. I love those like narrative books that are trying to get across some sort of grand point. I read The Way of the Superior Man, which is way outside of my comfort zone of reading. A lot of just like the masculine, the feminine, and that type of stuff. I don't know. I liked it. I didn't love it. I'm currently reading this one, Turning Pro, basically taking whatever your passion is and making it your profession and just like taking it very seriously. Then I got one book by this guy, Mark Manson. He's a pretty influential writer, but I've never actually read one of his books, like some pop philosophy maybe and like self-help. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Great day, having fun. Hope you guys are too. I'm gonna have some cashews, they're raw. I've been just digging raw cashews. And then I'm gonna have the rest of these blueberries right here. And I'm also gonna prep the delicata squash for tonight because then once Theo gets home, it's a little harder. He always wants to get involved, which is great. And I love when he gets involved, but some nights like tonight and I have both boys, it's a little harder. Okay, so that is my delicata squash. I chopped it in half and then I chopped it lengthwise and I scooped out the insides. You can see that it has seeds like a pumpkin like any squash does and i'm going to do cinnamon and salt and we'll toss it in a little bit of avocado oil as well 1 30 and so me and this guy are just going to hang out if he lets me do some cleaning around the house oh you're so sweepy i'm gonna have three pieces of this dark chocolate here so a third of the bar is 11 total carbs it's 3 p.m and i feel like taking a nap so instead i'm going to have some iced coffee i don't normally do this it is pretty light. A little bit of this guy with some cinnamon maybe over ice. Well, hello. I don't know why I did that. I hope Matt doesn't keep that in. Here's my coffee. It looks like all milk, but it's not. It's a lot of nut pods milk, you're right. But it's so good. I don't know why I don't drink iced coffee enough. So it is the Chobani coffee medium roast. So after I filmed that clip, I just checked myself out in the mirror and ugh, my hair looks so gross. Felix is nine weeks. So I'm definitely like far enough away from like having just given birth where I should not be being so bummy. But I guess let me just say this. Not that I have to justify it by any means, but um, looking like getting dressed in the morning, looking good, like putting on makeup or anything, that doesn't like get me going for the day. So when I went to my friends yesterday, I called her and I was like, hey, I'm like three minutes from your house, can I come over? But she was like, yeah, of course. I just put my makeup on and like I'm fully done up, so don't judge me. It keeps me like mentally healthy. Like she does it for her own mental health. And I know a lot of people who do that, like getting up and getting dressed, getting makeup on first thing in the morning, even if you're just gonna stay home. But that doesn't work for me. That feels like added on work to like whatever else I have to do. For me, it's really, if I'm able to have like a really productive day with the kids or I can get in a workout, then I feel really good mentally. But makeup and like nice clothes, like, Getting all dolled up doesn't make me feel good. I am gonna be picking up Theo very soon, so I'm packing his snack. And he always likes to have one of these fruit pouches. He has one of these a day at most. We never give him more than that. I'm digging in one of these cookies. So you saw I got these cookies. We already had some at home. I got these cookies. I got more at Whole Foods. And this is the birthday cake flavor. And then I'm gonna make one of these sausages for him. So he loves these Teton sausages. Theo's home. Peekaboo. I told you guys that Matt is on his low FODMAP diet, but I don't know what he can and can't have because I don't like have a list. We might try these if he can or I will after dinner. I don't know what Theo's... Theo, what are you doing? Are you pooping? No. He's pooping. Okay. It is 5.30. We are prepping the delicata. Or we're making the delicata. I put some olive oil. We're doing salt and cinnamon. Hello. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. It's so dark in here. Gotta put on Mabu dinosaurs for Theo. It's gonna be a dinosaur for Halloween, we decided. He decided. And I didn't show you guys, but I did have a few snacks of peanuts during the day. Probably like two ounces total. And you're making steaks and stuff? Steak. I need a pre-dinner snack. He poops in the toilet now, poops and pees in the toilet. Yeah. I guess I'll just have one of these prosciutto packets for a snack. And we have a sponsor for today's video. It is Perfect Keto. They make a lot of supplements, also snack foods that are keto friendly. Top-notch stuff. I say top-notch all the time now. I don't know why. They have cookies. They have keto bars. They have nut butter pouches. Probably the most popular ones that we use the most for the last few years is this keto collagen because the flavorings in them are really good. And it's like 10 grams, I think, or no, five... Yeah, 10 grams of collagen and five grams of MCT oil powder. So it's like a good mix. Good to put in your coffee. You get some protein, some fat. 
And also the MCT oil powder is really good just on its own. And then they have a uh, new, the Mallow bars. Do you like those? They're like Rice Krispie treats. They're new flavors coming out this month. I like them. I eat one like maybe once every few weeks. I get a craving for it. But yeah, just keep checking their site because they come out with like tons of new stuff all the time. Basically everything on the site you can trust to be keto friendly, good ingredients, all that type of stuff. So link down below, perfectketo.com. Put together a little package for yourself. Thanks to Perfect Keto for sponsoring this video. Go roll. Mega says she lost her touch at cooking steak, which of course implies that she once had a touch to begin with. Okay, so this is my dinner. Steak and delicata squash. The squash of all squashes. Is it? Yeah, it's the best. That's why it doesn't come around all year. You should work for the marketing arm of delicata. Dude's got his food. Where are you putting it? Right there. There's Fifi. And Fifi just gets paler and paler every day. Gut punches, head punches, and just like full body slams. It's remember called a frog has... splash. Frog splash, yeah. You remember that wrestling move? Here we are. Dinner is done. Every night is a struggle now with this guy. There they are with their mama. Almost made the clean play club. Not quite. Who does Felix look like more, me or Mega? Everyone just says he looks like Theo. Why is it so blurry? He looks like Theo? Yeah, he does. Well, he doesn't. He kind of looks like Theo. Of course, they're siblings, but not as much as you guys think. And if you guys watched our recent Sprouts grocery haul, I told you this is the best peanut butter ever, and I also said I would give this a review. So this is dark roasted, and I have tried it. As you can see, not quite as good, but a good change up. Are you talking about Santa Cruz? Yeah. I'm talking about the dark roasted. Oh yeah, the dark roast isn't nearly as good, but you said it was good. It so is good, it's just not as good. Why is his diaper off? Who did Where's that? your diaper? I just threw it. You threw I... it? Oh, you had to throw it, okay. That makes sense. But, yeah. So I'm just gonna have a couple tablespoons of, I'm gonna go light roasted tonight. Okay, so I mentioned that I wanted to try these and I was gonna see if Matt wanted to also try I one. I do. There's two in a pouch. I don't like it. Paleo Angel Power Balls. Quick, I gotta go, my friend's coming. Oh, no, no, no. Kind of like a bitter aftertaste, right? Not terrible, but I wouldn't really get them again. And then one last thing I'm gonna have is just three squares of this dark chocolate. It's 88% dark chocolate as a little night capper. This is my last snack of the day. Just gonna have some of these. They got them at Trader Joe's, they're super good. What are they? Dark chocolate covered <laughs> cocoa beans. Can Theo have one? No, it's caffeine, right? It's a little caffeine, but no, no. He doesn't milk. need any. No. You want milky? No, no, I'm milky. Chocolate milky. And that's a wrap. Theo got his chocolate milk because you always have to give in with toddlers. And Felix is having his bedtime meal right now. And that was it. It was a great day for me. Hope it was for you. Let us know down below what your fantasy football record is. And if you're sad that the Kardashians is over. Bye, guys.